For High Plus News, I'm John Oliver. The investigation of the Alabama Riverfront brawl continues as more arrests and charges continue to be handed out. Now, a woman has been arrested due to her connection to the brawl that happened on Saturday, August 5th. This makes her the fourth person to be charged by the Montgomery Police Department. The woman, Mary Todd, 21, was charged with a misdemeanor third degree assault as she turned herself in Thursday. According to WSFA 12 News, which is the local news station, Todd is currently being held at the Montgomery Municipal Jail. Todd's arrest comes after Alan Todd, 23, Zachary Shipman, 25, and Richard Roberts, 48. All four suspects face the same charges, although Roberts faces two counts of third degree assault. According to the New York Post, police did not reveal what role she played in the melee. However, there are several videos that show a woman who bears similarities to Todd throwing punches and shoving others. According to the same source, it's also not clear if Mary Todd and Alan Todd are related. As the investigation continues, MPD continues to look through footage and videos from that evening. Because of this, many can expect more charges to be handed out soon. Detectives are also asking anyone with more footage to submit it. A press conference was held on Tuesday, August 8th, where Montgomery Police Chief Daryl Albert stated how the incident all started. According to him, some private boat owners refused to move their boat from a place where the Harriet Two River boat was scheduled to dock. The boat's captain did his best to tell them to move for about 45 minutes, but was met with obscenities by the private boat owners. As a result, the black co-captain made his way to the dock to get the private boat to move. But this is what led to the physical confrontation that later turned into an outright brawl. According to CNN, witnesses reported that racist language was used before the fight started. An unidentified witness provided a sworn statement to law enforcement that a racial slur was used when the co-captain was trying to move the private platoon boat. During the press conference, Albert said that the police department didn't believe race was a factor in the fight. Several state and federal partners had felt that there was not enough information to consider this a hate crime. The local Montgomery news station also made note that even though all the charges are currently misdemeanors, this could change. At the time, we did not have the luxury of all the videos that we have seen now, that you and I have seen, and that the world has seen. Basically, all we had were witness statements and he said, she said. So our police officers and detectives had to decipher through all that and then apply the appropriate charges at the time. So again, as we gain more information, as we get more video, as we talk to more individuals, if charges are meant to be amended, they will be. As far as the captain of the Harriot, he would break his silence on Thursday with CNN. There he would express that he couldn't confirm that this was in fact a hate crime. Well, but you know, I saw it like everybody else saw it. It looks like a white people attacking a black man. But you know, I don't know the hearts of those men. I have no idea. What was it, what's in their hearts? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. What do you think of Mary Todd's arrest and charges? And do you feel the attack towards the black co-captain was a hate crime? For High Plus News, I'm John Oliver.